Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Vantech Nexstar 2 5.25 inch external drive enclosures. I'll be looking at two models today, the 525U2 and the 525UF. Now what's included with each one of these is very similar. I'll tell you what's dissimilar first. The U2 only includes a USB cable. The UF includes a USB cable and the Firewire cable. And they both include a power cable, mounting plates, four feet, screws, an installation CD, and the manual. Both of these external five and a quarter inch enclosures are designed to fit a regular five and a quarter inch drive. Of course, this drive would normally get installed in your computer's five and a quarter inch drive bay. They're very similar. The U2 has one USB port and the UF has two firewire and a USB port. Now they are identical in look. You've got plastic except for this which is metal ventilation holes on each side. Now let's have a closer look here at all these connections. On the U2 power switch, power cable gets connected right here, the fan, audio connection and the USB 2 connection. Here on the UF power switch, power cable, fan, audio, two firewire, and a USB connection. On the inside they are the same. You've got a power cable, IDE cable, as well as the audio cable. When installing a five and a quarter inch drive, first remove the cover. Next mount the brackets on each side of the drive. Now make the power connection, IDE connection, and audio connection. Once the cables are securely connected, carefully place the drive into the enclosure. Now you'll need to secure the drive into the enclosure with two included screws. They will go through that bracket which is on each side of the drive and actually into the enclosure. Note the hole right there and there's also a hole on the other side. This is where the two screws would go through that bracket and right into the enclosure. That will securely fasten the drive into the enclosure. And something else, before you secure it, make sure that the drive at the front here is flush. Next, fasten the top cover on with these four included screws. And next, attach these four feet. And finally, make all the appropriate connections. And when it's fully assembled, it looks quite nice. Now, it can be orientated horizontally, like it is right now, or vertically. This product looks fantastic and installation of a five and a quarter inch drive is rather easy. Now of course USB 2 and Firewire are very fast but performance will really depend upon what drive you are using. A couple of things that I would have liked to have seen in this product. Serial ATA and a three and a half inch hard drive mount. That would have been nice. But overall, this is a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on both of these external enclosures in the forum. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameatman.com. Until next time, take care.